hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by today i wanted to share with you how i make like pom-poms or how to make a pom-pom using the Sizzix tools um that i believe they retail for about 6.29 6.99 um that's kind of like the price range i think i paid like yeah, it must have been $6.99, so close to $7. You get four sizes. This is a nine centimeters, seven, 5.5, and the baby is 3.5. For the baby, I've already created a pom-pom, and as you can see, even though it looks like small, it's like a reasonable size um, of a pom-pom. And so I've been, um, making some of these these are great for the kids backpack which is what my daughter took some <laughs> already took some with her um for a notebook for a keychain or you know just like little extra things to hang on even per i've seen them lately where they've been really popular on purses but i am going to be using this for a swap um and I wanted to make my own and include this in like the notebook or the pages to decorate the top. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So let me go ahead and put this away. And I'm going to be playing with the 5.5 centimeters. I have a bunch of thread here that I just kind of already unrolled from here i'll probably need more to be honest um and what you want to do oh well first this um plastic to me in my opinion is very flimsy if i don't know how to describe it like look I guess I guess I could show you you see how you see it falls apart um, of course you could put it back this part right here also falls um, apart really easily so it doesn't I don't know why they would fall apart you, it's not like you're gonna use it I mean you are gonna use the clasp here but I don't know it, it's like a it's a flimsy plastic so do you still get a pom pom yes does do you meet your objective yes it's just i don't know i thought i would say that because i was like well you could literally like just break this like so easily if you're not careful um so when it comes the tool comes like this you have like a bumpy side and then a flat side and you have that obviously on the other piece of tool as well. So what you wanna do is you wanna line up the bumpy with the flat on each side. Does that make sense? Like here's the bumpy and here's the flat side and you're gonna just kinda let the circle sit. These um, bumps are gonna sit in these circles right there. And so you have half of the circle like this so the first thing well this is what works for me you guys so you guys just kind of be your own judge i am going to hold it this way and i'm going to get my initial thread and just kind of wrap it with my finger and then start um tightly wrapping it around i the first one to me is the most important and you want to keep it tight and then you want to keep it um, smushed together does that make sense so go back again this one's the one that you kind of want to be I guess paying more attention and then just push it um, smush it together like so and then just keep smushing it like that and then again wrap it around and push and this one could stay like that if you don't want to hold on to it you could just let it fall wherever it wants to fall and then you just keep doing that and then pushing same thing 
Okay, so now we're gonna go, that was our first one. Now we're gonna start going back. So we went from this side to this side. Now we wanna go back this way. And this one's where you kind of have to be careful where it is you want to place it. If it doesn't bother you, then by all means, just go crazy. Go ham. And you're going to roll it back as many times as you want or whatever you feel comfortable with. Now, um, the more laps, well, they're not really laps, but the more um back this way that you do your circle's gonna get uh thinner or smaller thinner <laughs> i meant to say smaller your circle's gonna get smaller do you guys know what i mean okay so let me just hold on for a minute so you see that circle in the middle it will still give you a pom-pom but if you want like a thick thick pom-pom then you're going to end up rolling it doing this overlapping a few more times and the more you do it the less and less your circle is going to get does that make sense like it's going to be reducing each time to be smaller and smaller because the thickness of the thread continues to get smaller right here so just gonna keep doing it a few times. I normally try to do right around five, but I don't know how many I've done. I think this is my um, this is my fourth one. So I'm just gonna go back. And try not to overlap it, and then. okay and you see what I mean like look at the the death or depth death <laughs> look at this um, shape down here it's gonna end up getting smaller and smaller um, the number of times that you go around so I'm just gonna continue and right around here I am going to cut a piece and then just leave it like it is so now I have these two pieces of ribbon uh, not ribbon but like thread right here so I'm gonna just let them hang out there and now I am going to be doing the exact same thing on this side so I'm gonna start by holding these two and then holding the threads just so that I could get started and remember the first one's like the important one because it's where you have to like make sure they're all like straight next to each other but then you want to push them um, together so like that Okay, and now I can cut it, and you see when I close it, look how small my circle is in the center. So now this is where you use your claps. You're going to just kind of let go. It won't hurt anything, I promise. And you're going to kind of squeeze this and then clasp it there, and then squeeze this part if it doesn't do it automatically you could use your fingers to squeeze and then clasp it down so now you have this part right here so and that's okay you see all my strings like being all crazy hanging around um that's perfectly okay so now what you want to do is you want to first of all cut like this size maybe 10 inches 12 inches of thread and 
you want to hold on let me push this one through because i can afford to go one more loop um you have your four strings right here it's okay so just take your scissors you have a space right here if you can see okay and we're going to cut and then we have to do the same to the other side so i'm going to turn it this way and just run my scissors through that okay and now you have this crazy looking thing so what you want to do is take that piece of thread that you grabbed and you're going to run it down the middle does that make sense like see let me move these smaller strings out the way. So these are our overhang. So this is the 10 inch to 12 inch um, thread that I got. I'm going to run it down the middle and then tight. I mean tight, 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 as tight as you can, you guys. And I'm going to do another knot one more time. Okay, now that that's secure, um, we can go ahead and loosen up the clasps. And you're going to have this part right there. And then this part right here. And now here are your strings. And this is all the leftover strings um, when we started. So now, just like I did earlier, what I want to do is I kind of want to flatten it like that to make it like a circle. And I'm going to start trimming so that it feels like I'm shaping it to go along almost like you're, I feel like it, you're giving a haircut to this fussy ball and you're just matching all the little thread to be somewhat the same until you feel that you've gotten your circle okay you might have to turn it upside down because sometimes you don't see everything Once you find like a consistency that you like, just kind of roll it. See if you like it. If you see something like right here, you see it's kind of uneven, just go back and shape it. And then again, fluff it up, and that is, oops, that is your pom pom. See? What do you guys think? Hmm? Just shape it until you are happy. And that is going to be our pom-poms for the day. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, that it was super helpful. And we will see you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Bye.